guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style and welcome to our summer learning series. So I'm very excited to kick this off. This is the first week that both girls are home from school for the summer. So Natalie is four and a preschooler. She'll be in pre-K four next year. And Isabella is six and she is going into first grade next year. So this is gonna be called summer learning because I can no longer call it preschool at home because I have one preschooler and one grade schooler. But I wanted to show you the materials real quick here at the top and in case you couldn't guess, this is under the sea week and obviously very inspired by finding dory so i'm also hoping to go see the movie this week and that's very much what this is inspired about but i'm doing general under the sea so i'm going to show you all the activities in this vlog that we are doing but i'm very excited this is a little tub activity that we are going to do you can actually use these in the tub these are three dollars in the dollar spot section at target and i got two sets of them because they actually have different sh shapes and characters and the otter is in this one and Hank is in that one so of course then you have to have both but we're gonna be doing this outside to start out and then they can use them in the tub later because we're gonna be putting them in this with Orbeez and we're gonna be doing like a sensory bin with water and basically able to play with the different animals and finding Dory I thought that was great for under the sea we're also gonna be doing a little obstacle course the kids loved these they're a miniature golf course you can see you can set up like this outside. We're going to be doing that outside just for some outside activity. And I also have some pool rings that I'm going to be using as a ring toss with the different miniature golf things as well. There was an inflatable Hank ring toss that the kids really loved, but I was like, what am I going to do with a 39-inch inflatable octopus after we're done doing ring toss? So I thought this was better for two activities in one. And that's $9.99 at Target. So we have a number of books we're going to be reading. Something different I'm not going to be showing. I mean, you you know, these are the books that we're going to be reading. So I'll just show you the titles here, and then I think you can probably just trust me that we read them. I'm not going to be filming while we read because it's just too difficult to hold and show and all that kind of stuff. Commotion in the Ocean by Giles Andre. We really like that one. Part of Their World. It's part of a scholastic order that we got. Dolphins and Sea Otters and a Zooborn Splish Splash book. Also, a number of these cars, these are from an old Baby Einstein set that we've had forever since Isabella was a baby. These are like little info cards. The kids love these things, so I picked out some of the applicable ones there. All of this great Finding Dory stuff from the dollar section at Target, the dollar spot. We've got Finding Dory tattoos, Finding Dory stickers, which we've already used for this little craft, which I'm going to show you in this vlog, this paper plate craft. And if you remember a couple summers ago, we actually did something similar to this. It's a little shake craft where they put the bubbles in, and the kids always like that one. I got some Finding Dory stuff for me, too, to go along with this thematic week, and they've already used their play packs as well. Then I'm going to be introducing these books. These are brand new for the kids. Weird Sea Creatures. There's a Sharks book and Manatees. So those are ones they haven't seen yet and they kind of tie in with the theme. So without further ado, this is our Under the Sea Week. So the first thing we're going to be doing are making these Orbeez in the water. So I'm going to have the girls dump them into the water so we can let them grow. Right, go ahead and pour it in the water. And then we're going to sit and let them grow. So after they sit in the water, we're going to see how they change. Natalie's going to put hers in her cup. Hold on to this. I'll bring the cup down to you. Yep, put all of them in there. Got to put all of them. All right. So we're going to wait for these to grow. The orange ones are already getting bigger. Are they getting bigger? They're getting bigger. And they're in the lead. Pick out which tattoo you want to pick. Hank. Hank. <laughs> Yay, there you go. She's got Hank on her arm. <laughs> which, which Dory do you want? This one. That one? And right here. Right there. All right. Is she on there? Oh, nope. We need to hold it just a little bit longer. Count to ten, Natalie. One, two, three, four, five. A little five, slower. Three, I think five. that was our problem is we didn't count it too quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's see if she's on there. Ta-da. And we even have fish snacks, too. And these are actually the Finding Dory versions. All right, so our Orbeez are looking pretty done. We're ready to go outside and play. So we've got our sensory bin that's full of water set up out here outside in our yard. And we've got all of the blue Orbeez here in the strainer. I went ahead and drained all the water off that they 
puffed up in. You can see they're quite a bit bigger than when they started. These are some pretty teal ones. So I thought that we'd make our sensory bin out of the animals and then the girls can add the Orbeez into the water. And this is gonna be our Finding Dory sensory bin. And then we also have some orange ones left over. They can either add those in or I thought this would be cute for like a little extra play area over here where they can just play with them or squish them, whatever they wanna do with these. So I'm gonna get the girls and we are gonna make our Finding Dory sensory bed. So we've got our golf game all set up and we're ready for a little Finding Dory miniature golf. All right, so we have our little mini obstacle course that's kind of gotten blown over by the wind, but that's all right, we'll set it up. And our Orbeez activity over here. We're doing golf first. The kids have decided they want to do golf. Our version of golfing. Hang! <laughs> all right, on your mark. Get set, go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I think Our grass is too long. We need to have the lawn people cut it shorter because the things are having a hard time. The balls are having a hard time rolling because the grass is so long. Yay! Yay! Go, Natalie! Go, Natalie! So the other set of game that we're going to play with our golf game that we have out is a ring toss. We're going to be using these pool rings that we already had on hand. We're going to be tossing these around the characters. And I tried this out earlier, so I'm going to give two to each girl. And you guys pick a character that you want to stand in front of. Dory! Alright. And try to ring toss around the character. And I thought that this was better than paying another $10. And we can play ring toss. Yay, Natalie! <laughs> so then the total cost for this was $10 and we got a golf game and ring toss game. So if you already have the pool rings, you can you use those with the golf game. And as we get better, we can scoot further backwards. <laughs> and get a... Yay! <laughs> what do you think about how they feel? I think they're really cool. I think they look pretty cool. And they grew from those tiny little pellets too. They, they, they look really cool. And they feel pretty cool. What do you think they feel like? Smooth and wet. Smooth and wet. And that's what they look like when they're in the water. Pretty cool. And we're going to open up some of our animals and put them in our bin. So let's put some otters in there first. All right, so we're going to put our foam shapes down in the water. All right. <laughs> Tori's in the water. You want to put the shark in? We don't know the names whale yet because we haven't seen shark. the whale shark. We haven't seen the names yet. Here, take some Orbeez and you can toss them in. Not the whole thing, just grab a handful. Ta da! Can I do these? Yep, we're going to open up those too. Look, they bounce off the. Can you guys bounce them off the foam? Hey, yeah, I'll try. They bounce off the whale shark. So I'm having to fish for the orange ones. So they're mainly blue ones in there right now. So what I'm doing is tossing a couple of the orange ones in and they're trying to grab the orange ones out and put them into their cups. Just, we don't like orange ones in there. Well, we're just picking the orange ones out. We're trying to sort them. So then it's all blue ones. I love that these bounce, that's so cool. Yeah, watch. So all in all, I think that this sensory project is definitely a win. I would check these out at Target. I found them in my dollar spot section for three bucks and the girls are really having fun playing with these. You can get the Orbeez at Toys R Us. I think they're around five bucks for an activity under $10 and these are all reusable. You can use these in the tub again and the Orbeez should be able to use for multiple uses. So I think that this is a great summertime activity and I think the girls are like yeah, I'm trying. Got one. Yes, I caught one! Yay! All right, so we're gonna toss some more characters in. Bella's got Hank and Natalie's got Beluga Whale. All right, go ahead and toss them in. Woo! What? I've got Nemo. Nemo's in the water. All right, you guys wanna pour these in? These green ones are bouncy and one fell off. Yeah, I think they're all bouncy. And then if you want more out, you can get these out of the water down here. 
mixing it around. <laughs> Poor beluga whale. Woo! Hey, buddy. Dory. And then we've got the strainer out here, so that way I can strain some of these. Whoop, I got Dory in that one too. Got Dory? All right, Natalie, hold your cup out. Oh, there you go. And pour them in And then the you can put them back in there. You want to grab Nemo out of that one? I keep getting characters. There you go. That's all right, we can get them out. And then I have the orange ones over here that we can just use for squishing and playing and bouncing on this Bella's going to try to strain some Orbeez out here. Natalie, hold your cup out. Good big sister. Took a quick sunscreen break and now they're back at it. Natalie likes obstacle course and Bella's at the Orbeez. Oh, you're fixing it? You're putting them up for us? Thank you. I'm cleaning your cups. Cool. <laughs> the wind keeps knocking it down. <laughs> oh, she just had sat all those up and the wind keeps knocking them down. Oh, dear. Woo! They're very pretty. I saw, I saw. <laughs> Bella's over here experimenting. She's changing cups. Working hard mixing over there. This next activity is a repeat for us. We did this in preschool and home a couple years ago. We're actually gonna be doing this again to put a different twist on it for Finding Dory. But then also, this has been one of my all-time favorite crafts that we've ever done. I actually still have the aquariums that we did last time. So I wanted to do this again, but with Finding Dory characters again. So what we're gonna be doing is using these little paper plates. I use these because they're blue and they kind of look like waves. And we're gonna be putting our Finding Dory stickers on construction paper cutting that out to make it be a scene. And then you take the second plate and you cut the center out. You use a zip lock. I use the gallon size from Target and you attach it to the inside. And then it makes it look like a clear aquarium over the top. If you're really super adventurous, you can put some sparkly stuff on the inside like glitter or some gems or some sequins to float around and look like bubbles. I highly recommend helping the kids do this, especially if it's with glitter, um, but if you're really super adventurous. But I highly recommend helping them at least a little bit so it doesn't end up all over the floor. So I'm gonna show you what we did with this. It's a really super simple and fun craft and we're gonna be doing a Finding Dory Aquarium today. We're gonna be doing a Finding Dory Sea Scene today. So I have some paper plates that are still whole and then I have paper plates that I cut the center out of. Those are gonna be our tops that we're gonna attach the Ziploc to. Then I have blue construction paper which I'm gonna give to each girl which is roughly about the same size as what I cut out on the center. And each girl has her own Finding Dory sticker pad so I'm gonna let them decorate this blue part with Finding Dory stickers however they want. This is gonna be their under the sea. Then we're gonna glue that to the plate and put our, sh our clear part on top and put some shimmer things in the middle, and then that's gonna be our sea scene. All right, so we're off. Natalie's gonna make a sea scene with her stickers, and Isabella, here's yours. 
And you don't need it too crowded, guys. We're going to be able to do regular sea scenes. So cute. I know, the otters are so cute. We can do regular sea scenes just like on regular construction paper, but just fit what will look nice on a on a paper plate. So, you guys make your scenes in the blue so it looks like water. And I think what we may even do this time, I didn't do this last time, is instead of flipping it over like this, I like the edges of these, it's the only problem, but I may actually turn it over like this so there's more of a um, open space so that these gems and stuff will fit in there a little bit easier. So I'm gonna pick out blue gems and things like that so it looks like bubbles. And then we'll figure out whether we're gonna do it this way, this is the way that I did it last time, and then just taped around the edges. Especially if you use glitter, make sure you seal it really well. I use packing tape, no joke. Um, or if we do it this way, there'll be more room to shake things. So I just took one half of the Ziploc, I cut it in half so it's two clear sides, and I just taped that to the part that has the middle cut out, and then the girls are done with their sea creatures, so I'm gonna have them put some of this glue stick glue on the back and tape it down to the middle of their plate, and it's okay if the edges of the plate show a little bit, that's why I picked these blue plates. Then we're gonna stick whatever things we want in the middle, and then we're gonna put this on the top and put tape around the edges, and then you should be able to shake it. This will be glued down so it won't move, but the glitter and stuff will move around. So I'm gonna have them do some gluing. So now we're gonna pick out gems to put in our project, and Bella said that she wants blue circles, so I'm pulling some of those out so she can put those in her project. Try to find her one more. They also have clear ones, Isabella. Here's another blue one. And then we can add a little bit of glitter and then seal everything up. Would you like some gems to put in yours like bubbles, Natalie? Yes? I want rectangle ones. You want rectangle ones? All right, let's see what, what color do you want? So put those on your plate and make sure that they're the side up that you want. So if you want the blue facing up, yep. Just put them wherever, it doesn't matter because they're going to be moving around. Are they sticky? No, they're not sticky. So you're just going to put them in there. It doesn't matter where they go because they're going to be able to move around. And then, do you want glitter in yours, Natalie? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> and Bella, do you want glitter in yours? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So Mommy's going to help you do the glitter and then after we do that, we're going to seal it up and tape around the edges. Just a couple shakes, Natalie. I'll do three. Mm -hmm. I need some more. All right, couple more. Not the Otterton. Not the Otterton. There you go. Go ahead and put some shapes on yours. Yeah, it comes out kind of slowly. And then we'll seal them up, and they'll be ready to go. Yay. My aquarium is going to be so cute just because of the otter. Just because of the otter. I think the otter and ink are everyone's favorites. <laughs> so this, so one, this one is Natalie's. And then we're just gonna take this cover and put it on over the top. And then I'm gonna seal it around the edges. I'm just gonna put packing tape on there so it seals really well. And then everything will be free floating on the inside. All right, so it's all sealed up and it's ready to shake. So the last time we didn't have these huge gems in there, the last time we had sequins, and I will say the sequins I think worked a little bit better, but I couldn't find those in my craft stash. But there is your Finding Dory CC, Natalie. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bella. We'll put your cover on yours. And I was so patient. You were very patient, thank you. <laughs> Are you shaking it? Kids love these. They absolutely love these. Hey. All right, and here is Bella's aquarium. So she's got her round bubbles and they're sliding around a little bit easier. I think I did this one not quite as tight, the two plates together. So there is your sea scene. So that is our Under the Sea Finding Dory themed craft for the day. Very nice, I like it. It looks good. Shaking's the best part, isn't it? <laughs> so that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.